Jacob from Concept here. I'm just playing with my favourite pedal in the whole wide world, the Pitchfork by Electro Harmonics. It's kind of like a harmony, octave, pitch shifter sort of pedal. Uh, it's really versatile and great. You can do a lot of wacky stuff with it. Right now I've got another setting where it's adding a fourth above and below every single note I play. So if I take it off, we're in the key of G, and it just sounds like a regular old guitar. If I add it on, it's just this lush, weird, great thing, and it's my fave. Uh, let's take a closer look, eh? Mm. Okay, so. Uh, the way the pedal works is on this right hand knob here, you select the interval that you'd like to hear above or below what you're playing. It goes all the way from a unison, I'm represented by the letter D here, and I can't really think of what, oh, double, I guess, that's double. And then it goes through minor second, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, etc., etc., all the way to octaves up here, this one, two, and three. You can hear an octave above everything that you're playing or below, depending on, on how you want to do it. Two octaves above or below, up to three octaves above or below, which is absolutely outrageous, and I wouldn't recommend it, but it is fun for a bit of a, bit of a laugh. So, this is off, this is on. This switch in the middle lets me decide what I like to hear perfect fourth above what I'm playing, perfect fourth below what I'm playing, or in the case of this middle position, both above and below. That's what I like on this particular setting. And the blend is at about 12 o'clock here. If I go nothing, I'm just going to hear guitar in the middle, lush, and over here. It's kind of it takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, it's great. My other favourite setting that I'll show you is this octave, uh, octave up and octave down. And it makes it kind of sound like a church organ. Last thing I'll show you is this latching function. If I press that button, now the pedal will only engage as long as I have my foot on the switch, which is a kind of a very practical tool uh, for using live. So if I'm playing now, kind of anything, as soon as I, but I have to keep my foot pressed down. If I take it off, Fork, and I love it a lot. I use it on stage. I like to use it as a creative tool, but it's also really handy if you want to add an octave below a line that you're playing to give it a lot of body. Uh, it's just versatile and tasty, I guess. <laughs>